Christopher wanted to serve the greatest man in the world. His teacher told him that to become a great servant, he had to go to the river and build a house and live there. And every day, he was to carry anyone who had need across the river. So Christopher went to the river, built his house where the current was strong. And with the help of his staff to steady him, he carried people across the river on his back. Rich and poor, young and old, male and female, black and white, it didn't matter. But one day, while he was sleeping, Christopher heard the voice of a child calling, Christopher, carry me across the river. When he looked outside his house, he saw no one. Back inside, he heard the voice again. Again, he went outside and saw no one. It happened a third time, but this time he found a child who begged him to carry him over the river. Christopher took the child and placed him on his shoulders, and as he began to cross the river, and as the water rushed against his body, the weight of the child seemed to grow with every step. It was almost too much to bear. And when he reached the other side, he just collapsed, exhausted. Christopher told the child that he felt as if he were carrying the weight of the world on his shoulders. The child said, you did. I am Jesus Christ. And today, you not only carried the whole world, but the one who created the world. So that you may know that I am truly Jesus. Place your staff in the ground by your house. And tomorrow, tomorrow it will bear flowers and fruit. The child just disappeared. Christopher went back home. He plunged his staff into the dirt. And the next morning, he found his staff bearing flowers and leaves and, and dates. And then, then Christopher began to understand the teaching of the hermit. By carrying others across the water, he wasn't just preparing to serve the greatest man in the world. He was, in fact, already serving the greatest man in the world. And not just when he carried the child who revealed himself as Jesus. He was already serving Jesus when he carried every single person across the raging current. Jesus taught, when I was hungry, you fed me. When I was naked, you clothed me. When I was sick or in prison, you visited me. And when I stood on the banks of the river, you carried me. And when Christopher learned that important lesson, he no longer served the greatest man in the world. He actually became one of the greatest men in the world because he had learned to live the one and the most important teaching of Jesus. Whoever wants to become great must be your servant. Whoever wants to be first must be a servant of all. For the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve.